Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in to this 55th episode of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Thank you so much for being here and for joining me at this one year anniversary mark. Yes, it has been one year since the Build Your Reiki Business podcast was launched, and I want to say thank you so very much. In order to celebrate the podcast's first anniversary, we're going to do some special things. Number one, For a couple of weeks, the first two weeks of April, I am offering a special to meet with me for Reiki Business Mentoring for only $55. So I'm offering these special sessions one-on-one to meet with me for the first two weeks of April. The link to learn more and to schedule is down below. Also in celebration of the podcast, we are going to have episodes focusing on the top two most popular topics for the podcast's first year. Can you guess what they are? Tune in next week and the week after for the top two most popular. And we're doing the two most popular because it was close as to which topic was the most popular. But in this episode, I'd like to take you behind the scenes of the first year of the podcast and talk to you a little bit about what it's like on the back end of producing a podcast, talk with you a little bit about some of the things I've learned, some of the things I'd like to pass along to you if you want to do your own podcast and to share with you some of the lessons that I have learned. So I first and foremost want to say thank you so very much. It is a true honor to be able to offer this podcast every week. And it is a true honor to be able to encourage your Reiki business journey. And so please know that I thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart that you share your precious time with me, that you tune in and listen, whether this is your first episode or your 55th episode. I want to say thank you so very much because it truly is meaningful to me. It truly is meaningful to me to get an email out of the blue from someone who says, I've been listening to your podcast for a couple of months and I just want to say thank you. And it's very meaningful to me to see your posts on social media in which you are saying thank you for the podcast. It's very meaningful to me when you tell me that you listen on your way to work or uh, when you are cooking dinner or when you're in the shower. (laughs) It's incredibly meaningful to me. And so to you, I want to say thank you so very, very much. I know that your kind words are a true encouragement to me in my work with the podcast and just simply in my Reiki business journey and in my life's journey as well. And so please know that every time I sit down to record a podcast episode, I am so truly honored and so truly grateful to have you with me. And whether you are listening during the week when the podcast goes live or you are listening to this years from now, I want to say thank you so very much. I am very touched and I'm very humbled. So I want to say thank you. It is a true honor to be able to serve our Reiki community in this way. 
This podcast is part of my mission to help build 10,000 Reiki businesses for a better world. And I don't know about you, my guess is that you can agree because you're tuning in right now that Reiki really does have the ability to bring more compassion and more love and kindness to the world. And not only through the healing power of Reiki, but maybe even more importantly, through the personal healing power of Reiki and our own personal practice as Reiki practitioners. And so with that, I would love to take you behind the scenes of this podcast to uh, peel back the curtain a little bit and to share with you some of the things that I have learned over the past year. So I believe I mentioned it in the podcast episode on podcasts that I host the Build Your Reiki Business podcast on Spotify. And what's great about Spotify, first of all, yes, it is free. I talk about this in that podcast episode. I'll drop that link down below as well so you can tune in directly. But um, like with really any podcast platform, what's nice about Spotify is that it gives you demographic information on your listeners. And so I have a good idea of who you are. (laughs) I mean, don't worry. I don't know exactly who you are. Well, I do if you leave a review or um, you, well, I don't even know that because the reviews have um, usernames. Um, But if you leave a comment on Facebook um, or send me an email, I know who you are. But otherwise, I I don't know who you are. But I have an idea of who you are, demographically speaking, because Spotify gives me all of these great percentages and stats that are really helpful for me. So I know, for instance, the chances are pretty good that you're listening on Apple. Um, 47% of my listeners listen on Apple Podcasts. I have to tell you, by the way, setting up the RSS feed with Apple Podcasts was a pain in the beep. (laughs) Um, But uh, the majority of you are listening on Apple Podcasts. However, many more of you are listening on Spotify every week. And so more and more of my listenership is coming from Spotify and listening on Spotify. And one of the reasons for this is that Spotify is pushing the Build Your Reiki Business podcast out to more and more Spotify listeners. And so Spotify will give what are called impressions, where uh, the Build Your Reiki Business podcast will show up as a podcast to listen to for Spotify users. And so more and more every week, the listeners are tuning in on Spotify. And more and more every week, uh, people are are uh, following the podcast on Spotify. So I want to say thanks very much for that. I also know that there's a very good chance that you are listening in the United States. So 72% of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast listeners are based in the United States with a uh, a very distant second being the UK at 10%. So the vast majority of those listening are in the United States. Um, And I also have... uh, analytics on um, your gender and age. Now for gender, I'm going to assume that this is your uh, self-identified gender uh, because um, Spotify does give the option of being non-binary or not specified. So I'm going to assume that this is user declared identity. But the chances are pretty darn good that you are female identified. 86% of Build Your Reiki Business podcast listeners identify as female. And interestingly enough, the age range changes from time to time. So my listeners started out being 
um, primarily in the age range of 45 to 59. But I've seen that shifting over the past several months, especially to which listenership is coming in at a younger range. And right now, 45% of listeners are ages 28 to 34. And again, that has been shifting over the past several months where more listeners in the beginning of the podcast were older. And now we have a lot of listeners who are coming in at that younger age bracket. Now, of course, no matter what age you are, and no matter how you identify your gender, you are welcome here. It's wonderful to have you. And it's wonderful to have you no matter which country you are tuning in from, and no matter what your platform is. Now, of course, we have listeners on YouTube as well, because I do post the uh podcast on YouTube, and I actually post it on YouTube in a couple of different ways. YouTube now, within the past several months, oh, it's probably been a, a bit longer than that by now, maybe six months, um, allows podcasts to be broadcast on YouTube from the RSS feed. And um, again, I'll link down below the episode on podcasts that talks about this if you're interested in, in learning more about it. But um, the podcast is broadcast through that on YouTube. But also I have a separate playlist set up on YouTube that I started doing before the podcast RSS feed option on YouTube. And so I manually upload every episode every week to YouTube so that you can listen in from there. So when I upload the podcast episode, first of all, I record it on my computer from the sound recording application. Then I edit it and turn it into a video so I can upload to YouTube. And then I take the audio and upload that to Spotify. Now, it sounds like a labor-intensive process, but I have it down to a science. Truthfully, very truthfully, the most challenging part of the process is dealing with my cats. <laughs> so to take you behind the scenes of creating the podcast, this is, quite frankly, bar none, my greatest challenge with the podcast. It's dealing with three cats. Three cats who love my attention and seem to have some kind of internal device that knows exactly when I'm going to start recording a podcast, exactly when I'm going to sit down and start talking into a microphone. And that's exactly when they wake up from their nap and they want pet, they want played with, they want treats, they want whatever is going to keep me from talking into the microphone. For one stretch of time for the podcast, I would say it was about a month's worth of podcast episodes. I recorded in an alternate location where I would not have to worry about the cats. And that was amazing, except I didn't quite like the audio quality of that separate space because it was in a small room. There was a fan running in the background. Uh, and I, I probably others didn't notice it, but I did. And so I thought, you know, it might just be easiest for me to record at home where there is in some ways a better sound quality and I can just throw the cats in the basement, which is where they are right now. <laughs> Now, some other things I want to share with you from this past year of the podcast is that as someone who also has a YouTube channel, I can tell you that the podcast is faster growing than YouTube. And so I have found that having a podcast for one year has had faster growth than having a YouTube channel for multiple years. So it may be helpful for you to know 
dear Reiki business owner that a podcast, at least for me, has been growing faster than my YouTube channel. Podcasts are pretty popular. They are growing in popularity. Audio is much more transportable than video. I personally listen to all of the YouTube videos that I tune into anyway. I rarely watch a YouTube video. So I personally am very auditory. And like I mentioned earlier, you might be listening to this podcast while you are driving or working out or taking a shower. And probably during those times, you're not going to watch a video. So that makes audio in the form of a podcast so much more accessible than a video might be on YouTube. Now, some of the things that have kind of hindered the growth of the Build Your Reiki Business podcast over the past year are that um, sharing I have found on social media, sharing is very helpful for gaining listenership of the podcast. I saw a dip in the number of listeners when I was not posting on social media about the podcast as much. And I will tell you that um, I haven't been posting on social media as much about the podcast. You know, I have a lot of things going on. I'm busy and um, I always have plenty to post about. And so I quite frankly don't post about the podcast as often as I could or even really should in order to help it gain reach and traction. And I noticed a dip in the number of listeners when I slowed down on posting on social media about the podcast. However, because Spotify is uh, suggesting the podcast to listeners, that is making up for that ground that the podcast lost and continues to lose, quite frankly, because I'm not posting about it as much on social media as I could be. Another thing that has led to slower growth for the podcast versus other kinds of podcasts, and I will say that actually um, I had um, in an um, independent body take a look at my numbers so I could say, is this on track? You know, the number of v listens that I have, the number of downloads, the number of overall downloads, is this on track? And uh, was um, told that, yes, indeed, for the first year of a podcast, you know, you're, you're doing just fine. Could you be doing better? Of course. But I'll also tell you, everyone, it's not about the numbers. It's not about the numbers. It's about helping you and your Reiki business and helping all of us to spread Reiki for a better world. That's what it's about. But I was told that because my podcast is very much a micro niche, it's not going to have the same kind of appeal that another kind of podcast might, and it won't appeal to as wide of a range of listeners. Now, I'm personally okay with that. <laughs> I'm here to serve Reiki business owners. Now, if you're not a Reiki business owner, maybe you are some other kind of business owner, a spiritual business owner, or maybe you're a Reiki practitioner who is thinking about starting a business, hasn't started one yet, not quite sure that you want to, you are all indeed welcome. But because the podcast serves such a narrow group, it's not going to have the same kind of appeal that another kind of podcast might. So for instance, this podcast is focuses specifically on Reiki business. Whereas if the podcast focused on Reiki itself, it's going to appeal to all of those Reiki practitioners who are not interested in starting a business. So a Reiki podcast might actually perform better than a specifically Reiki business podcast because it's simply going to appeal to a wider group of people. Already Reiki practitioners are a micro niche, and then we've got Reiki business owners within that, so that's a much smaller group of people. 
So next week and the week after, we are going to focus on the number one and number two most popular topics on the podcast over the last year. Now, I will say before we do talk about those episode topics, that actually the number one episode of the podcast's first year is the number one episode, the welcome episode. This episode is the one that has received the most downloads. And so it is the most popular. But the reason for that is that it is also the first one, meaning that when we have something like a podcast in which past episodes don't go away and are there to be listened to for years to come, we get an initial boost in listeners when a new podcast is published. So when a new episode is published and people are listening to that new episode, but then there is a lingering accumulation of listens to each episode. So this is helpful for you to know if you indeed want to have a podcast or have a podcast that your earlier episodes are going to continue to get listeners. I've had people tell me that they found my podcast and then they go and binge all kinds of episodes and they might start at the beginning and start listening at the beginning so that that very first episode actually got a lot of use, a lot of listens, and more so than any of the other episodes. So next week and the week after, we'll be talking about the most popular topics. But what would you like to see on the podcast in the next year? If you're tuning in on YouTube, drop it in the comments for us and let us know. Leave a review. Let others know what you think and what you might like to see on the podcast. And of course, please feel free to share it with us in the Reiki Business Collective at facebook.com slash groups slash Reiki biz. And it would be wonderful to see you for one of those celebratory Reiki business coaching and mentoring sessions for only $55 in the first two weeks of April. No matter where you are on your Reiki business journey, it is a true honor to help you build your Reiki business. Thank you so very much. I am so grateful to have you here and so grateful to have had you along for the ride, whether it's been for a full year or this is your very first episode. I want to say thank you so very much, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.